Jamal LaSalle's, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans TV and welcome to the preview tactics board which is going to be happening in just a second. We're going to be quickly running you through the Bristol City lineup. I'm not doing Bristol City's tactics this week because I'm going to be all honesty with you at home. I haven't seen the player. I don't know what, what the player like to be honest. Um, however, we'll have a look at Newcastle in just a moment. So it'll just be like as we click the fingers. Man, am I tired man. I've done loads, loads of videos. I've done seven yesterday and I've done four a day madness absolutely load but i hope you're liking the content so far um some of us some of you have asked the question about the fan cams me actual mic snapped when i was going to new york so that's the reason why it's difficult to hear some people uh, but yeah if you want to get involved or make a video yourself because I've, I've got josh making another video he'd done a video for us about three months ago he's got another one coming so keep an eye out for that and will's video as well is a great one for the previews so keep an eye out for that right anyways bristol city so out of the three games they've actually won two out of the three the only one point off the top of the league i know it's early days it's only three games in the eighth in the league uh, they've beaten uh, the two promoted sides which was wigan and uh burton albion both two one uh keep an eye out for abraham who plays up front who's on loan from chelsea he's going to be a star in the future uh, so keep an eye out for him. Lee Tomlin also is a regular who uh, Middlesbrough fans will know him very well. Man City fans will know him very well in the FA Cup, won't you, City fans, yeah. Um, and they got beat up Norwich, which is which is one of the favourites to go up, so that's you can't really fault them for that. But two out of three, yes, it's against promoted sides, but it's a great start for them for Gary Johnson, who is a, a master. He knows the lower league so, so well, and they also had a spell as a national coach as well. I remember that as well. I think it was Latvia, wasn't it, at the top of my head? Bad knowledge. Um, so looking at their lineup, their predicted lineups from judging from the last three games I'm going on, O'Donnell will start in goal. They'll have Little at right back, they'll play Flint and Magnuson, and then they'll play Brian at left back. So they'll play with a flat back four, and then they'll probably play Pack, O'Neill, Tomlin, O'Dowa, um, and then they'll play Kodja, and then they'll play o Abraham. That's expected lineup for Bristol City. Let's stop talking about Bristol City. Let's talk about the tune. That's what you're here for, aren't you, people? And just like magic, the green screen disappears. <laughs> right, so yes, here is the... I'm going to try and guess Rafa's team this week because last week I've done my team. So this week I'm, I'm, I'm trying to guess Rafa. So let's have a look at the lineup. Yes, his kicker wasn't the greatest last game. A lot of you want, want him changed, but I think he will go with cells. On the right-hand side, I think Daryl Yamat will come in at right back this time. And Nita had a solid game, but I think Daryl Yamat will come back in because I think Daryl Yamat was only rested, not because of his form, just because it was rotated. And Bemba will come in at centre-back. I wouldn't be too surprised, though, if he comes and brings him out and brings Hanley in here. Um, Lascelles, uh, he's already mentioned that he'll come in at the side. He's hinted on that, look, Jim Lascelles will start and then they'll probably be dropped or well rested for the game against Cheltenham. Here's Ascamas, I'm going to go at left-back as well. So here's a scammer to come in because Dummett's now played three in a row. I don't expect him to play four in a row. I'd be quite surprised if Dummett starts against Bristol City. Now looking here across the midfield again, I think these two have got to start. Shelby and Hayden. Hayden was probably... Uh, Hayden, to be honest, I, I, put, I put my hands down. I said I want Jack Cole back in for that bit of bite in midfield, didn't I, last time? But Hayden, hey, he proved me wrong. And that's what I like. People who prove people wrong. Hayden was outstanding. Outstanding against Redden, up there with potential man in the match. A lot of you picked them. I went for Gale, but a lot of you went for him. Shelby, those two need to strike a partnership now. That is possibly the key for the future of this season. These two guys. I think Rolanda Aarons will come in to the left. I cannot see Gufran playing start to start in two games. When I was watching the game at St James's, Gufran was tiring out after about 60, 65 minutes. He just wasn't running. He was very um, tired. You could imagine it was his first game, first start, you know. On the other side, Matt Ritchie, who's probably, so far this season, our best player with Dwight Gale so far this season, I have to say. And I think, you know, I think he'll bring in Diarmi. I didn't think he'll play Perez, because Perez was disappointing again against Redden. And obviously Dwight Gale picked himself, so it's not long till Mitt Rose back. It'll be after the Cheltenham game, if anybody's wondering, because he's got a four-game ban, not a three-game. Right, so how we are how we're going to attack Bristol City. Now Bristol City are going to have their record attendance for 25 years because the stadium has been developed and Newcastle have already sold out. Well done, well done boys. Right, so let's have a look at it. Right, so on this side, we'll start with this side. We know that Daryl Yamat likes to get forward. We know this. That's that's his strength. He will bomb on on that wing. That's a dodgy arrow, isn't it? It's very dodgy. Um, so he'll bomb on that wing. That's the strength of Daryl Yamat. Yes, he's got his critics, but he gets forward. Um, and Ben Lascelles, Pitwell, well, we're not going to talk about that, guys. 
Gamma Syndicate, I can't see him tacking as much. Um, I can't see him going past halfway line because he's very defensive fullback, he's no nonsense. I want him to have an actual game. We need to see him. We need to see he is a scammer and what he's like. We didn't want another savvy on which on our hands. Rolando Arons, we know this is a special, special game for Orlando because he's back at the club where he made his first ever start in professional and was Bristol City. So he will be up with this. He'll be quite emotional, lad. He's very humble. Adam on Snapchat. Um, so we know Arons has pace to burn and he'll be getting down this wing. We know this. This is his strength. He'll be getting down this wing. And their fullback is going to have a hard, hard time. Little against Aaron's no contest. Aaron should, you would think, win that. But well, I know we're talking about individuals, yeah, but it's about team collective, and we'll come to that in a minute. So Matt Ritchie would know now what his strengths are. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I have noticed in the three games. Yes, he's brilliant going forward. Do you know what I did say last video? I'll get a pen, and I didn't, you know, I didn't buy a pen. And we'll also know he can come in with his left foot. But what I've noticed really, really in particular with Richie is this. Coming back, coming back, something that Townsend didn't do in this Newcastle shirt. Townsend, unbelievable going forward. He's probably, he is better than Richie going forward. I have to say that. But Richie going the other way, hey, he works fucking hard. Like, he really, really does. Key grafter, Matt Richie, like, Gordon Ramsay's love child. So, looking at the middle, we know Shelby. Shelby didn't do as much Hollywood balls. I did see in the preview, he needs to cut it out. And he didn't. He was just, he wasn't like, give me the ball, give me the ball. He wasn't doing that. He was, he was, the ball was given to him. And he was just casually, casually playing it across, you know. He wasn't doing nothing spectacular, you know. It was nice, easy. A couple of clip balls over the top of Gale. I have to say, Dwight Gale's movement was fucking brilliant. I had it. I was watching very Ian Wright. You've probably seen a couple of fan cams. So Dwight Gale, if he keeps this movement up, he's got three goals already this season. I believe he's the top scorer in the championship off the top of my head. Someone might correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Modi Army, is this a problem to fans? Let me know in your comments section down below. Um, he had an awful game against Huddersfield. He's back in contention. Rafa, could, I think he will make a surprise. I could be wrong. Maybe he's press. But this lad needs to talk. Needs to talk to his other men. Talk to them. Ask for the ball. Didn't be shy. I know it was his debut, but he was standing around and he was just watching the game like this, waiting for the ball to come in. So he needs to demand the ball. Kind of what Shelby used Shelby done a couple of games ago. So looking at attack, how are you going to attack them? Well, this guy needs to talk. Aaron's needs to burn his winger. Richie just needs to carry on his form. Shelby needs to carry on from where he's left off. And um, Dwight Gill needs service again. Dwight Gill got two goals. One of them was a beautiful free kick, mind, but a couple more crosses, a few more crosses. Um, didn't really come off last game because we're missing Mitrovic, but I feel Newcastle, this on paper, you have to say that on paper, you would expect Newcastle to quite easily turn over Bristol City, but we've already established already in the Premier in the, not in the Premier League, see, I'm talking Premier League. I've forgot I've got Premier League on my mind. Freaking Ibrahimovic, outstanding tonight. Um, so, all in all, Newcastle, I think we'll go out and win 2-0 uh, this time around. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching Newcastle Fans TV. Come on the tune!